Hi everyone, welcome along today. We're going to show you how to fit a window blind, specifically for us, to this window here, right beside me. Here then we have what come with the blind, and that's obviously you can see the pull cord end with the ratchet. We have the other end that goes in the blind, which sits in one of these brackets here. And as you can see, these obviously are the brackets for either end of the blind, and a little fixing kit over there. Here then is our main blind. Now, normally blinds fall down at the back, like so. So the blind is down at the back of the window against the glass as close as you can get. There's also this piece here that's got to be slid inside the end of here. We'll do that in a second so it sits inside for a bit of weight to pull it down. Okay, but make sure you push this in before you hang the blind up, especially if it's between a window, uh, the sides of it, because you, you just won't get it in afterwards. Rather awkward if it's got a wall either side. Alright, so next step we usually do is decide which end you want your cord. As obviously we like ours on the right, it's more accessible. So literally this is your corded end, I'll flick it up, this is the right for us. Just want to draw your attention, this pin has to be vertical. Okay, when this goes in, it's a, a muster thing to make sure it hangs nice and square before you push it in and then push it in. That's it. You know you've got it nice and square. So that's now the other way around. And you'll have this piece that I showed you earlier. Okay, and this fits in that way around. And push that one right down into the blind. Now we're ready to think about fixing up where we want it and the brackets. So now we're going to go about the fixing of it. Every window is going to be different. Yours will be different from ours. This is just our particular one. We're going to fit ours inside window I know that a lot of people will be fitting them outside the window which is a lot easier in respect of that you could put a bracket on the wall anywhere but when it's inside it, it's a little bit more difficult luckily for us we've got this bit of trim wood around here which might just be thick enough I'm hoping for us to screw through and fix to um, so we're a bit lucky in having that but if you haven't if you think you want to drill upwards bear in mind that there's probably a lintel there this is probably a concrete lintel, or it could be a metal one, and it will be extremely hard to drill through. So on most occasions, you're better to drill through the side wall rather than up into the lintel. If you have to, you will need a good SDS drill to get through it. Makes life a little bit difficult. My advice when doing these is, is get the brackets and literally put it on the end of the blind and offer it up. Because uh, sometimes it might be a little bit easier to put a little piece of wood or something on each end, a nice bit of trim I'm talking about, to build it out to put all your the brackets on uh, if it's short. If it's too long to fit in the window, then you do have to cut the blind with scissors all the way up the edge and also sort of junior axle through the end of the blind, the carbon tube, uh, so that it's the right size to fit the window if you're fitting it inside, okay? Get the ends and put it on as if it's in place. Okay, get it in the right place. Oh, let's get it on there. Okay, clipped in. And put the other end on the other end. I, I won't bother, but because uh, I know I'm going to do that in a minute. I won't get it all in the camera. Once that's in, then you can obviously measure from there to the end of the other bracket. And then using that measurement, you know that's where this is going to sit on the wall. So then we can drill our holes in the right place, in the right position. One last thing before I forget to tell you, also is if you look, you see the blind, when it rolls up, it's slightly wider than the bracket, so it's always best to give it a little bit either side of the bracket, rather than having that touching a wall, for instance. Uh, just give it a little bit more leeway because this might rub against the wall. It's not a good. So just something else to bear in mind. Give it a touch more measurement either side when the bracket goes up. Right then. Brackets are up on the wall. Uh, don't forget this piece. It's, really, it's happened so many times. <laughs> Fill it all up and then found you haven't put a rod at the bottom in to give it a bit of weight so it holds down. Okay, that ready. We're ready to try it up there. See how we get on. One other very, very last thing. This one hasn't got one, but if you've got a joining clip in this, make sure it's positioned right up the top here. All right, so it pulls down, doesn't get locked up inside the winding mechanism. Okay, okay, so it's time to fit it in now. There's a bracket there, we're going to slot him in there. 
get in there nicely and firmly. Get them lined up like that. Okay, now the other end. We'll get up on this table here. You've got to kind of pull the bracket out a little bit. And there's a little slot, you can slide it over the top. Can you see that? Slide it over the top, and then you should be able to bring it down into the bracket. There we go, and there we are. You heard it clipping. Can't be bad, can it? Easy peasy. <laughs> right then, there we have it then. Job finished. There we are, bracket screwed on the wall. Nice and tidy with the cord. Let's give it a go, shall we? As you can see, Jan gets a lot of light coming through this window. We get the sun in the morning, and when Jan's working at a desk here, uh, she can't see a thing on the computer screen. It's absolutely, you know, actually washed out with sun. So the idea is, you can bring this down a bit, just enough to block the sun out and still have the light and be able to see out the window. So it's kind of doing a double thing. So let's see if it works. And we'll pull the cord. And down we go. Oh, look at that. Lovely jobby. Very nice. Smooth action. Yeah. There you go, really good, eh? <laughs> Trouble is, it's not been sunny for days. <laughs> no, it's uh, done nothing but rain today, actually, but never mind. But then it's a good time to do it, because if the sun was coming through the window here, we wouldn't have had a video here, it would have been too, too overexposed. So, good day to put a blind up, and there we are. Job done. Okay, that's it, simple, easy one. All my stuff, you know where to go, DIY specialist.